Okay, this is going to be on record so I see how I can use this this uh, Avid program. And what I've done here, if you would click into here and you'd right click here and you hit import, it says media clip, that's what I did. And what I brought in here was this one right here, night in the night in Rio. Now, the sequence on this is called illustrate and the way I got that was clicking new sequence up here and you can see it says the word I know I typed the word illustrate in there and that's the way I got it so anyway I tell you so that's what we did then I moved this night in Rio over here and this is not the whole movie this is just a clip out of the movie that I've got here now let's show you how to edit this stuff. This is the edit tool right here. When it's off, it doesn't edit anything. When you click on it, and it's lit up, it edits. So anyway, if it's off, then all it serves as is a means to control this timeline, this little red thing over here. Now, well you, you can't, if you can't, try to grab this thing by using the cursor doesn't work but if you just left click out here you, at any point it'll bring it out then you can drag it and scrub along the timeline here like so like that and you notice this is turned off while you use it as a scrubbing tool right here now this button down here or this little triangle here controls how much is in this window right here like if we move it this direction that shortens and compresses that area if we move it out that lengthens it so that you can take little bits of this timeline and work within it now if we just move it like right to here for right now just to illustrate what we're going to do so what we're going to do is see how this editing tool does and what the timeline is that's where the editing will start taking place. I say you don't like this particular s scene in the movie here. You want to take it out. You need to work with these mark ins and mark outs here. This is mark in over here. This is mark out. And this will send it to go to mark in. This sends it to go to mark out. So if you understand those, those are really important to understand when you're doing editing. So let's just start right here and the timelines down here. We, before I do that, let me show you something else. You run this all the way back to the beginning. And you can do that by going up here. So let's go to start and click that. That throws the timeline all the way down to that point there. Now if you want to put a mark in point there, you can click this mark in here. Now, you don't really see nothing down here at this point right here. For some reason or other, the mark in is not visible at the beginning here. So, but it's still there. And if you uh, want to go out to, let's say, this point here and put a mark out, you can see it's visible right here, not over here. But this whole area would be the area that you'd be working with the editing right here but let's don't do that because I want to make this visible so you can see or what you're doing so let's take both mark ins and mark outs out by going up here clicking that now let's use let's say this point right here is going to be the mark in point here because we're going to work with the editing uh, part of this sequence here so let's do this. We take this as the mark in point. Scroll down here a little bit further to where we want to get this that old scene out of there. So from here to here. So we put a mark out right there. So that's from this point to this point. This is where we're going to edit. So let's start up the editor. Going over here, we click the editor. Uh, now we'll begin at the beginning and end at the end so let's move this little red dot back to a 
where the start is and go to mark in. Now the editor is turned on so if we want to start there as the dividing point we hit this add edit right there. Now we send this back to this next point we just do this go to mark out. Again this is still turned on, the editor is still turned on. We hit this add edit and now this section is now subject to being edited. And if you just click on this edge, you'll see how that shows what you can do. Here you can move this back, taking that out to that point there, or you can take the whole section out. Or you can work from this end over here, going backwards over there, uh, going in that opposite direction. But we don't, we're not really interested in doing that. We just want to take this section out. So left clicking that and then right clicking it. What we want to do is just delete that section out. Oh, from here to here to, it just hit uh, delete. Wow, gone. Just like that. Highlights this section is from here to here with the two showing it. You can push this back in here. And you get rid of that just that fast, that's gone. So now, again, if you want to scroll or scrub, as the word is, from this point, one to there to there, see how it changes. Now we cut all that out of there and got rid of that there. And that's basically what you want to do there. I say you want to get rid of. Um, that's what, let's say you want to take the video out of this. If you click the, edit, uh, let's do this. Since we're going to edit, we, we want to see what we're going to edit here. We highlight this. You can see this is all highlighted. This one section. This is one section is highlighted. Got to go here to get to the next section to highlight it. Now. If you right click other properties, you can see we've got video, audio, video, audio. Alright, but you want to take the video out of this section right here. See, this shows that you got video right here. Just click this right here and hit apply. I took that video out of there. So there's no more video in this section here. Because if you scroll through this, look. No video shows up. But when you hit here, look, the video's back. It shows up again. It's back. Wow. Alright. What about audio? You got the audio. Why is that? Right click, properties, audio is still shown in there. So you take this out now, no video, no audio. It's like this section doesn't even exist in there because if you play this, look, dead silence, dead silence until we get to the next section here. Look how it starts there. So. That's just some basic uh, fundamental editing that if you forget all this, you can at least go back and play this and pick up this much information, if nothing else.